First let's talk about the GTA 6 price, based on leaks and rumors, the price of GTA 6 is expected to be higher than previous games in the series. Here's a detailed breakdown. These are the historical pricing of GTA and Rockstar games. Rockstar games have historically increased the price of their games over time. For instance, these are the launch prices for some of their popular titles. From this, it appears that Rockstar Games tends to use a specific price for a few years and then raises it by $10. Given this trend and considering the economic impact of the COVID-19 pandemic, it wouldn't be surprising if GTA 6 is priced at $70. Take-Two Interactive which is parent company of Rockstar Games, also influences the pricing of their games. In March 2021, Strauss Zelnick the CEO of Take-Two Interactive stated that, they were comfortable pricing their top-of-the-line games at a $70 price mark. This suggests that GTA 6 could potentially be priced similarly. There have been rumors suggesting that GTA 6 could cost upwards of $150. However, it's more likely that a high-end edition of GTA 6 could be priced at $150, while the base game will likely stick to the usual $70 formula. It's also important to remember that prices may vary depending on the region and platform. Now let's talk about the tree's physics. In the world of Grand Theft Auto 6, the trees are no longer static entities merely serving as visual props. They are now dynamic, living parts of the game's environment. Each tree in the game is uniquely rendered with its own set of physical properties. This means that different species of trees will react differently to the elements. For instance, a palm tree can sway gently in the breeze, while an oak tree will stand firm. The trees in GTA 6 are also interactive. If a player crashes their car into a tree, the tree will react accordingly. A small sapling might get uprooted, while a larger tree will cause the car to crumple upon impact. Moreover, the trees play a role in the game's weather system. During a storm, you can see the trees being battered by the wind, with leaves and branches getting torn off. In extreme cases, trees might even get struck by lightning, causing a fire. This level of detail extends to the wildlife as well. Birds can be seen perching on the branches, and will fly away if disturbed. At night, you might even spot a raccoon or a squirrel scurrying up the trunk. In summary, the tree physics in GTA 6 add a new layer of realism to the game, making the virtual world feel more alive and immersive. The weather system is expected to be more dynamic and realistic than ever before. The game is rumored to feature a wide range of weather conditions, from sunny days to stormy nights. These weather conditions are not just cosmetic, they can have a real impact on gameplay. For instance, driving can become more challenging in the rain, and visibility can be reduced in foggy conditions. One of the most exciting rumors is the potential inclusion of natural disasters. This could include events like thunderstorms, hurricanes, and even earthquakes. These events could cause temporary changes to the game world, creating new obstacles and challenges for the player. Furthermore, the weather system is expected to be tied to the game's day-night cycle. This means that you can watch the sunset on a clear day, see the city lights reflect off wet streets after a rainstorm, or navigate by the light of the moon on a starry night. NPCs. Talking about the NPCs, the game would probably have the most realistic NPCs. Each NPC in GTA 6 could be meticulously designed with their own unique set of behaviors, routines, and reactions. This means that every character you encounter in the game, from the pedestrians on the street to the shopkeepers in stores, will behave in a way that is consistent with their role and the situation they are in. For instance, if you were to bump into a pedestrian on the street, they might react with surprise, annoyance or even aggression, depending on their personality. Similarly, if you were to walk into a store with a weapon drawn, the shopkeeper might react with fear and call the police. The NPCs in GTA 6 also have a day-night cycle. During the day, you might see NPCs going to work, running errands, or just enjoying a day in the park. At night, the streets come alive with different characters, you might see partygoers heading to the club, or shady characters lurking in the shadows. Furthermore, the NPCs react dynamically to the events happening around them. If a car crash happens nearby, some might run away in fear, while others might pull out their phones to record the incident. If a gunfight breaks out, NPCs will duck for cover and call the police. Water physics, in Grand Theft Auto 6, the water isn't just a boundary at the edge of the map, it's a living dynamic part of the game world. The water physics in GTA 6 have been significantly improved to provide a more realistic and immersive experience. Each body of water, from the smallest pond to the vast ocean, has its own unique characteristics. For instance, the ocean is no longer a flat, static surface. It now features realistic waves that vary in size and intensity depending on the weather and time of day. 
you can see the waves crashing against the shore, creating foam and spray. If you're out at sea during a storm, the waves become larger and more dangerous, rocking your boat and making navigation more challenging. The rivers and streams in the game also have their own flow dynamics. You can see the water flowing downstream, carrying leaves and other debris with it. If you try to swim against the current, you'll find it more difficult than swimming downstream. Furthermore, the game features realistic underwater physics. When you dive underwater, you can see the light rays filtering through the water, creating a beautiful and immersive underwater environment. You can also see bubbles rising to the surface when you exhale, and you'll need to manage your oxygen levels to avoid drowning. Vehicle Physics In GTA 6, vehicle physics have been significantly improved to provide a more realistic and immersive driving experience. Each vehicle, from the smallest compact car to the largest truck, has its own unique handling characteristics. For instance, the weight and size of a vehicle now have a greater impact on its handling. Larger, heavier vehicles are harder to maneuver and take longer to stop, while smaller, lighter vehicles are more agile and responsive. The game also features a realistic damage model. If you crash your car, you'll see dents and scratches appear on the bodywork. In severe crashes, the car can even be totaled, with broken windows, deformed bodywork, and smoke pouring from the engine. Furthermore, the game features realistic suspension and tire physics. You can see the suspension working as you drive over bumps and potholes, and you'll need to manage your tire grip to avoid spinning out in corners. In summary, the vehicle physics in GTA 6 add a new layer of realism to the game, making the driving experience more challenging and rewarding. Budget. Creating a game like Grand Theft Auto 6 is a massive undertaking that involves hundreds of developers, artists, designers, and other professionals working for several years. The cost of creating such a game is correspondingly high. According to various leaks and rumors, the budget for GTA 6 could be around $2 billion. This would make it one of the most expensive video games ever developed. To put this into perspective, the budget for Red Dead Redemption 2, another game developed by Rockstar Games, was around $540 million. The high cost can be attributed to several factors. First, there's the cost of developing the game itself, which includes salaries for the development team, cost of software and hardware, and other operational expenses. Second, there's the cost of creating the game's world. GTA 6 is rumored to feature a highly detailed and expansive open world, which requires a significant amount of resources to create. This includes the cost of designing and modeling the game's environments, creating the game's characters and vehicles, and implementing the game's physics and AI systems. Third, there's the cost of marketing the game. This includes the cost of advertising campaigns, promotional events, and other marketing activities. Given the popularity of the GTA franchise, it's likely that Rockstar Games will invest heavily in marketing to ensure the game's success. Finally, there's the cost of post-launch support. This includes the cost of developing and releasing updates and expansions for the game, as well as the cost of maintaining the game's online services. Soundtracks, the soundtrack in GTA games plays a crucial role in setting the mood and enhancing the overall gaming experience. The GTA series is known for its eclectic and extensive selection of licensed music. Each game features multiple radio stations, each with its own unique genre and DJ. These radio stations play a mix of music, commercials, and DJ banter, providing a realistic and immersive audio backdrop to the game world. For GTA 6, we can expect a similarly diverse and extensive soundtrack. Given the rumors that the game will be set in multiple locations, it's likely that the soundtrack will feature a wide range of music styles to reflect these different settings. For instance, if one of the locations is Vice City, Rockstar's version of Miami, we can expect a lot of Latin music, 80s pop, and disco. If another location is Liberty City, Rockstar's version of New York, we might hear a lot of hip-hop, jazz, and rock. Furthermore, it's likely that Rockstar will continue their tradition of featuring original music in GTA 6. In previous games, they've commissioned artists to create original tracks for the game, and it's likely they'll do the same for GTA 6. Of course, these are rumors and leaks, but based on the old speculations, we can expect to the same when GTA 6 came out. What do you think? Is there a game that would compete GTA 6 in 2025? Probably not. I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you later.